The thing about American democracy is this. Just enough of us, on just enough occasions, have chosen not to dismantle democracy, but to preserve democracy. We must choose that path again. At a time when there are those who seek to ban books, bury history, we're making it clear, crystal, crystal clear. <laughs> While darkness and denialism can hide much, they erase nothing. They can hide, but they erase nothing. We can't just choose to learn what we want to know. We have to learn what we should know. We should know about our country. We should know everything, the good, the bad, the truth of who we are as a nation. That's what great nations do, and we are a great nation. That's what they do. For only with truth comes healing, justice, repair, and another step forward. A mob of extremists and terrorists launched a violent and deadly assault. While the attack on our values and our votes shocked and saddened the nation, our democracy did survive. And that's because of the women and men of the U.S. Capitol Police, the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police Department, and other law enforcement officials we honor today. And in securing our Capitol, they secured our democracy. These officers are heroes. We cannot allow the heroism of these officers to be forgotten. We have to understand what happened. The honest and unvarnished truth. We have to face it. That's what great nations do. And we are a great nation. A man smashed the back windows and broke into the home of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the third highest ranking official in America. He carried in his backpack zip ties, duct tape, rope, and a hammer. As he told the police, he had come looking for Nancy Pelosi to take her hostage, to interrogate her, to threaten to break her kneecaps. But she wasn't there. Her husband, my friend Paul Pelosi, was home alone. The assailant tried to take Paul hostage. He woke him up. He wanted to tie him up. The assailant ended up using a hammer to smash Paul's skull. Thankfully, by the grace of God, Paul survived. All this happened after the assault. And it just, I, it's hard to even say. It's hard to even say. After the assailant entered the home asking, <clears throat> where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? Those are the very same words used by the mob when they stormed the United States Capitol on January the 6th, when they broke windows, kicked in the doors, brutally attacked law enforcement, roamed the corridors hunting for officials, and erected gallows to hang the former Vice President, Mike Pence. It was an enraged mob that had been whipped up into a frenzy by a president repeating over and over again the big lie that the election of 2020 had been stolen. It's a lie that fueled the dangerous rise in political violence and voter intimidation. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., born November 20th, 1942, is an American politician who is the 46th and current president of the United States. Ideologically, a moderate member of the Democratic Party, previously served as the 47th vice president from 2009 to 2017 under President Barack Obama and represented Delaware in the United States Senate from 19. 1972 to 2009. Born in Scanton, Pennsylvania, Biden moved with his family to Delaware in 1953. He studied at the University of Delaware before earning his law degree from Syracuse University. He was elected to the Newcastle County Council in 1970 and to the U.S. Senate in 1972. As a senator, Biden drafted and led the effort to pass the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act. And 
the Violence Against Women Act. He also oversaw six U.S. Supreme Court confirmation hearings, including the contentious hearings from Robert Barr and Clarence Thomas. Biden ran unsuccessfully for the Democratic presidential nomination in 1988 and 2008. In 2008, Obama chose Biden as his running mate, and Biden was a close counselor to Obama during his two terms as vice president. In the 2020 presidential election, Biden and his running mate, Mara Harris, defeated incumbent Donald Trump and Mike Pence. Biden is the second Catholic president in U.S. history after John Kennedy, and his politics has been widely described as profoundly influenced by Catholic social teaching. Taking office at age 78, Biden is the oldest president in U.S. history, the first to have a female vice president and the first from Delaware in 2021. He signed a bipartisan infrastructure bill as well as U.S. dollar $1.9 trillion economic stimulus package in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and its related recession. Biden proposed the Build the Build Back Better Act, which failed Congress, but aspects of which were incorporated into the Inflation Reduction Act that was signed into law in 2022. Biden also signed the Bipartisan Chips and Science Act, which focused on manufacturing, pointed Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court and worked with congressional Republicans to prevent a first ever national default by negotiating a deal to raise the debt ceiling. In foreign policy, Biden restored America's membership in the Paris Act. He oversaw the complete withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan that ended the war in Afghanistan, during which the Afghanistan government collapsed and the Taliban seized control. Biden has responded to the Russian invasion of Ukraine by imposing sanctions on Russia and authorizing civilians and military aid to Ukraine. During the 2023 Israel Hamas war, Biden announced American military support for Israel and condemned the action of Hamas and other Palestinian militants as terrorists. In April 2023 announced his candidacy for the Democratic Party nomination in the 2024 presidential election.